This week on Sail Away. It's been almost four months since we bought this classic cat, and we have yet to haul her out. Yeah, here we go. I didn't even have a chance to sit and talk about how nervous I was to uh, drive the thing into the lift. With all the unexpected issues so far, we have no idea what new ones we might find. The game is afoot. Let the fun begin! And our to-do list is already long enough to fill 30 days in the yard. There will be challenges. Day two, after the soon to be infamous mosquito assault of 2022. But we'll scour the inside and the outside for any issues. That is about how much you've done. You're definitely more tired, more sore, more bug bitten than we were yesterday. We deserve an early lunch, especially the beer. Yeah. And we'll fix as many things as we can and tick as many items off the list as we can in the seven days we've got. Because with hurricane season behind us, we're suddenly on a tight travel schedule. Call us from my shaft over here. But is our list realistic at all? We have been going so hard since we started trying to get all this stuff done. So we are like three days behind what we thought, which is going to put our schedule to get to St. Thomas real tight because the biggest item on the list of all is enough to fill a week. Prepping and painting over our copper coat bottom. <laughs> Thank you. Just getting there. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. It's been almost four months since we bought this 30 year old catamaran. And due to circumstances we'd love to go back and change, we've never hauled her out yet. Finally, we were about to see everything going on underneath the old girl. A little early morning fun that we were not as prepared for. We thought we were going to have time to set up the boat, and we didn't. And then they were like, oh, come on in. So, Yeah, here we go. I didn't even have a chance to sit and talk about how nervous I was to uh, drive the thing into the lift. My fun. I'm here to tell you that looked real narrow when I was pulling in. We've already been working our way through a long list of expected and unexpected projects as we restore our new home. And the additional list of things we both need and hope to do while the boat is hauled out is long enough to take up a good 30 days in the yard. But of course, we don't have 30 days. We've got seven. Yep. One huge selling point of the boat was a copper coat bottom job, quote unquote, just a few years old, which should have meant three or four more years before we had to even worry about the bottom. But after a few months living with the boat, we realized that that copper coat job is 100% absolutely positively shot. Despite my underwater efforts to reclaim it, it quickly grows a crust that's almost impossible to scrape off. So the biggest of all the jobs this week is painting over it. on the game is afoot let the fun begin so that happened pretty fast we're scheduled for eight o'clock this morning not really thinking they'd be ready for us at eight I mean come on so yeah just pretty much cruised right up and right in handed them the lines hopped off and everything took off so I mean that's awesome we just didn't expect it I'm, I'm nervous anytime we have to dock the boat. I mean, I think that's healthy. <laughs> but this one, you know, being as big as it is and us just being new to catamarans. Yeah, I was kind of 
having some anxiety about it for sure. So it was really pretty good that we were able to just go boop, 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 right in. I didn't even have a chance to think about it. And now here we are. We're hauled out. We're blocked. And it's time to get to work. Got a pretty healthy list of stuff. There's a lot of things I'd like to get done this week if we can. We get six free days in the yard just with the haul out. So we're going to do as much as we can get done until it's time to leave. While we're waiting on the guy to come check our haul out for the acid wash, I'm going to start peeling all those nasty ass pinstripes and tape lines that are down there. Like one on top of the other. I don't know what the deal was with that, but they're, they're gone. All the way around. It's going pretty easy though. That's a what? I don't know. It's like a piece of a muscle. Oh, there it there goes. All right, just keep doing that. Keep finding all of them you can find. Good work. I'll keep peeling stripes. Step one, half complete. I've got all the uh, striping off on the insides of the holes. They came off pretty easy, but I just don't even know what I'm looking at underneath. There's sort of a confusing array of layers and stripes here. It looks like Maybe there was a fiberglass in stripe originally, but as I scrape, I get to a point where like you can't feel an edge right there, which doesn't make sense. I just, I don't know. I think it's our gel coat. I think this is gel coat blue. But yeah, mysteries abound on this boat. There's more that we will show you that we've already noticed. Luckily, bringing the bottom paint top line all the way up above all this old striping is a visually pretty nice place for it to be, especially on a boat with this big a freeboard. Day two, after the soon to be infamous mosquito assault of 2022, poor rivers. He looks like he's got the measles or something. He's got so many bites on him. That's one thing that's not fun about bow yards. Today, I'm checking through holes because I know I got one loose one. And as I've been going through them, I found one other loose one. This is one of them. Oh, you can see that. Whole thing just spins. <laughs> the crazy thing is, it wasn't leaking a drop. But obviously, the. Uh, Sealant is giving way on that one. Yeah, this one, I've been giving them all a pretty solid tug and twist. No jokes, please. And so far it's just those two, but I'm gonna work my way all the way down this hall and I gotta go into the forward compartments too and check the through holes in there. Then we'll seal them up. Um, Lauren's gonna get started sanding. I have some epoxy work to do in the port all the way aft stern little crevice in there to keep, stop that little tiny pinhole leak. I'm going to epoxy the crap out of the inside, let it dry, then we'll sand the outside and then use uh, filler in there to kind of smooth that out. And then bottom paint will be going over that this time. So we might wind up acid washing this thing ourselves because we haven't gotten any response from the yard. We're just, we're moving, man. We want to get this all done. So I think we want to get that part done today. So we're going to wind up just doing it ourselves, which is fine. You know, we want to do as much of that as possible. We were trying to take a little bit of load off by having them do it, but it's not worth the running around and hassling with them if uh, we can't get them to come over. So we'll just do it ourselves. Despite a really thorough job by the yard power washing the bottom, sanding through the crust to the copper coat was still a really tough job. Mostly Lauren's. Cheers. Tyvek suits, what, you want to live forever? I don't know, I'd rather just drink my copper coat. <laughs> it is quite loud here. I am working on acid washing all of this, using like three different products, and it's taking a lot of elbow grease, but it's coming. There's what I haven't done yet. 
And there was a lot of that up there. It's gone now. Still got all the other three sides yet, though. What we get ourselves into. <sighs> that is about how much you've done. Chop, chop. Start of day two in the bow yard. We're definitely more tired, more sore, more bug bitten than we were yesterday. We knew the, the mosquitoes were pretty bad in here, but uh, it was insane the first night and last night. So we've kept doors closed. So we killed all the bugs in here last night and we wanted that to stay. Although, you know, I mean, there's one right there. You can see. All remnants of the mosquitoes that were just here. They're all over the walls. And we did finally. We found our screens, but then it rained in the middle of the night. And this poor kid is covered in bug bites. So, that's not been enjoyable. What can we do besides what we're doing? All right, pitter patter, let's get at her. The faster we get this done, the faster we get out of the boat yard, the faster we can get out of the mosquitoes, the faster we can get to St. Thomas, get the craziness started, <laughs> and get to get to Charleston. Oh, so much stuff. And yes, I researched it quite a bit. Once the copper coat is exposed and well sanded. You can paint right over it with most bottom paints. Here's our daily trip to Budget Marine. Thankfully, it's close by. <laughs> Otherwise, we would not have any of the stuff we need when we need it. And yep, that's Cecilia, parked right there in the yard next to us. a lot of boat but we are hard back at it this morning took a few minutes to get rolling just getting into the boat yard groove Lauren is making good progress and I have busted out sander number two to work on these sterns and any other little repairs that we might need that's where our little leak is coming in and once I get this sanded down a good bit more I've got a epoxy filler that's a white epoxy filler uh, edit easy epoxy and then I'm gonna climb inside here and basically epoxy inside this crevice put a nice big fat chunk of it all along the inside of there Yeah, finally got the lunch van lady. She comes through here honking every single day. We deserve an early lunch, especially the beer. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Rivers. My big pizza. <laughs> Don't drop your big pizza. All right, guys, I got a roadie. Another small item on my list. It actually wasn't even on my list originally. But so many things on a boat like this is, what do I call it? Moving head uh, by subtraction. <laughs> Getting rid of things that are outdated, don't work, are obsolete, or just things from a different era that you just don't want on a boat now. These are underwater lights. They hit right about there. Sometimes they're above water, sometimes they're barely under. And from what I gathered, they didn't work for the previous owner either. Because he made a comment, hey, those got some underwater lights, you should uh, try and get those to work. But I don't really want to do that. 
So we're gonna knock these things off. They're they're shot. They're not gonna work no matter what. That means I'm knocking these suckers off of here. Here's day three. We're definitely feeling a little worse for wear. We, Eric's already started. It's only like eight o'clock right now. Sorry everybody in the boat yard, but it's a boat yard. We've basically started all of our tasks, but we haven't finished even one yet. So hopefully today we can get all of the hull sanded. We got one half of it done yesterday so if we can get the other one sanded today and then acid washed which we also kind of started but that means tomorrow we can paint I'm just I'm really ready to get out of here basically I feel like I'm living on some skittles <sighs> thankfully they have those at the grocery store because it's the only thing that makes me want to keep going it's like, oh, I can get another skittle <sighs> But other than that, we're sore, we're gross, we're getting it done. We had noticed this hull damage before, but it turned out to be a little worse than we realized. That's what they call a little dock drama. It's just in the gel coat, luckily. It's just ugly. Even. No streaks. We hope to eventually paint the entire boat, but for now, it would just be the bottom edges of both sterns that got a makeover. Now that we were high and dry, we could finally find out how much chain we had and get it all nicely marked. At some point. The max props are rough, but they work. They'll do for now. Quit polishing your shaft and get to work. <laughs> It was also evident that there had been some kind of damage to the bottoms of both keels and both rudders, as both had been repainted with something other than copper coat. And since the copper coat is only a few years old, the damage must have occurred with the previous owner. What just happened? We're done sanding. We're done sanding. What's that mean? Ice cream. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get cleaned up and go get some ice cream. It means showers and bug spray ice cream. Showers, bug spray, ice cream. That's the plan for the night. We'll celebrate being two days late Yay! in our schedule. to sit down and just talk to the camera. We have been going so hard since we started trying to get all this stuff done and 
less than a week. And normally we wouldn't kill ourselves trying to do this. It's always a schedule that gets you. You know, we have one. We do our best not to sell or we'll live with a schedule if we can help it, but that's just life. So Lauren's dad is meeting us in St. Thomas on the 25th in order for us to have really several weeks to time our departure to go to the U.S. and pick a, a good nine-day, eight, nine-day weather window. So we need to be there for her dad and his buddy, John. Well, it is... I uh, can't keep track of the days right now. I think it is the 14th. Is that right? So this is Monday the 14th. This was the day we were going to splash. But we have been going as hard as we can to get all this stuff done. Um, there's nothing more that we could be doing. <laughs> Just all the stuff that we've done on this boat. It's, it's a month's worth of yard work. Rambling as I tend to do, just, just to say we have been working really hard and I think it's going to be very rewarding and how much nicer the boat is going to look. So anyway, I'm up at 6.30, not just to talk to you fine folks, because we're trying to do three coats today if we can. So like approximately 9 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Then tomorrow, get up, get one last final coat on, at least on the water line, one more. We'll see how many coats we can get out of the cans we have. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, I'm, I'm overwhelmed and very stressed right now to, to, to get a lot of this stuff done. But we'll get it figured out, one way or the other. <sighs> We're this close. And yet we haven't even painted yet. <laughs> On to skittle bag number three. What is this, day four? When we first came in the yard, we thought maybe Monday, today, would be the day that we got out. Instead, it's the day we start painting. So we are like three days behind what we thought, which is going to put our schedule to get to St. Thomas real tight, but can't do anything about that now. We just need to get the paint on the bottom. You ready to paint? Do you know what that blue line is for? Yeah, yeah. So we don't. So we know where to paint and not paint. Right, you can paint right up on that line. Crack up for a rusty can of paint. This is our fault, by the way. Didn't come that way. As for the bottom paint we used, it's the cheap stuff. This is meant to last one, maybe two seasons. But we already tried the good stuff, Trinidad SR, on Cecilia. And it pretty much stopped working at about two and a half years. We're curious to see what the difference is between the good stuff and the cheap stuff. We plan to haul out again in probably less than a year anyway, so it'll be a good test. A little dark in here but we are once again back at circus this place kind of saved our lives when we were here for a couple months during all of the boat transactions and everything and we were stressed out and dealing with no refrigeration and all that kind of stuff this was our Monday night hangout cheap food a couple beers rivers could go crazy playing with all those kids. It's a little calmer here right now because everybody has left Grenada. 
and not a kid to be found here right now except for this one. We made the mistake of letting him have a little coke. He is crazy. We've got almost two full coats on and we'll get the, the second coat on in the morning and then we'll do another coat around the water line and I think we'll be in good shape. It already looks so much better and in two days when we splash down we'll get to see the finished product. But for now we're gonna eat some chicken, drink some beer, and play some ping pong or something like it. <laughs> Who's winning? Uh, right now, it's just my sanity. You're, we're winning because he's expending some energy. He's been cooped up on a boat. There's nothing, the only thing worse than being cooped up on a boat and not being able to run around is a boat that's not even in the water. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we are, day four? No. Oh. Six, day six in the boat yard. We've gotten one and a half coats on, so we've gotten one full coat on both sides and then half, the, and then the middle hulls done. We just went and bought the last gallon of paint, which we didn't think we were going to need, so we're up to four gallons. And then we will be done with the bottom job. And there's other things that we need to do that I don't remember that we're supposed to do, but Eric knows all about them. That's what we're doing. And then tomorrow, we splash. River says he's not excited to splash tomorrow. Why don't you want to leave the boat yard? Because it's nice. Yeah, what's your favorite thing about the boat yard? Yeah, the, the boat, car boat carrier. The boat lift. You like watching the boat lift yeah. go up and down and seeing where all the boats go? River says he doesn't want to leave the boat yard. time for the sacred moment man <laughs> I got that on camera <laughs> it's okay you made it look good <laughs> thank you it's getting there just pulled a hard angle like that I'm all pretty clean all right Nice sharp line. We will say that the Pro Guard went on smoothly, overcoated nicely, and looked great. Time will tell. Today is the day. We are getting out of the boatyard. So we are doing some cleanup. While well, the outside is nice and pretty and new and clean, the inside has been a wreck because we've been so focused outside. And uh, boat yards are just not clean places. There's a lot of a lot of dirt that you track on the boat. Now that it's the end of the boat yard, we can eat all of the Skittles. There were three major things that we didn't get done while we were hauled out. The first thing was a new port side shaft seal. But we knew we wouldn't get that done because we couldn't find the right one anywhere in Grenada. The other two items, buffing and waxing the hulls and polishing the rub rails. But we were pretty happy with all we got done. And also very happy not to have discovered any major surprise issues. We're adding the buff and wax to the dockside jobs in Charleston, along with some swanky new graphics. Yard. Now we can relax. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, we got nothing else to do. Except cabinet and passage drink. <laughs> you think that deserves a, a passage drink? To go from there to right here? Yeah. Yeah? It basically a passage drink, isn't it? I mean, if you say so. I, I, can't. Is. I won't say no. Nope. Celebrate! It was, uh, our total boatyard fees were like just under 700 with uh, 
uh, electric, water, scaffolding. U.S. We still have all our receipts of all the, the money we spent yeah. on the other things. So we'll uh, let's go calculate that up so you know how much we spent at the boat yard. I think it's going to be pretty reasonable. It'll be under 2000 for sure. Because the tank was only uh, like three, what was it, 305 or 330 or something like that EC. So we'll just call it 150. It's not that much. Here's two. The passage of a boatyard. Yeah. Trip. The passage of Cecilia from a dirty bottom no. and Ophelia. Oh yeah, sorry. Let me scratch that. That might take a while. <laughs> the passage of Ophelia from a dirty bottom girl to a beautiful bottom girl. It only took a week of scrubbing. I wish that worked on me. <laughs> Just rub it for a week mm. until it looks the way you want it to look. I guess I've never tried, so. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a really long week, but pretty rewarding. We got most of our items done. There's a couple that I gave up on early on that I just knew we weren't going to get to. And then I was really kind of bummed that I wasn't able to get around to buffing the hull. The thing I'm most worried about is that we acid washed the whole hull, then did the bottom, and that kind of leaves the fiberglass, especially old, porous, oxidized fiberglass subject to staining and watermarks and that kind of stuff. So it looks amazing now. This is the best it's going to look in the next year. <laughs> <laughs> and the very next morning, we leave and head 400 miles to St. Thomas, where we hurry to prep this boat for the longest passage we've done yet. 1,450 miles to Charleston. With the waves and the